This is every My Little Pony reference in the HP Nuclear Tech mod. Let's get into it. First things first, obviously the big one here. We have the little pit box car here. Look at that. That is beautiful. Next, we have the Polaroid of also Little Pip again. Anyway, the next thing here is the, obviously, the painting of a cartoon pony. When you place it in an item frame, you get this, which is Angel Bunny with a motivational quote. Great. All right, let's get into the chest here. Here is the painting of a cartoon pony which states that the yellow horse bleeds, beats the blue horse. That's a proven fact. Next, we have our Flim Flam Can Industries can Stallion Milk. Oh my god, no. Okay, that is, that is too far. This is obviously made by Flim Flam Industries, which is a reference to the brothers Flim and Flam. All right, the book of boxcars is basically the uh, follow-up Equestria. Next, we have the Shining Armor, armor Polish. <laughs> Which is, that is funny. I don't know why I think that's funny, but that is funny. Next, we have the little pip squeak, which obviously drops a boxcar. Next, we have the DNT stuff. Come on. Y'all know what this looks like. Mm hmm. <laughs> Everything that's anything that's spark, definitely Twilight Sparkle energy. I'm, I'm not even gonna lie. This is literally Twilight Sparkle's cutie mark. I swear to God. But we have the Mark 1 Fallout Equestria Duna Probe with Experimental Nuclear Propulsion. <clears throat> Next, we have our wings here. Come on. <laughs> These look freaking fresh as heck, though. Heck, and they make you go so fast. I love these. <laughs> oh, boy. I don't know what that's a reference to, but... It looks like pony wings, so we're just going with it. Rainbow factory kind of nonsense here. Next, we have Balefire. That's a reference to the uh, Fallout Equestria book series. I had to Google this stuff, I, I assure you. I do not sustain this much knowledge. Next, we have the one guy Stinger, which is manufactured by Equestria Missile Systems. Oh, I get it. It's because of the <laughs> knees. It all makes sense now. Rockets travel faster, are three times stronger, and fires a second rocket for free. That is a deal if I ever saw one. All right, next we have our Balefire Launcher. Balefire Egg Launcher. Probably my favorite. It's the Trick Sight. It may be great and powerful. I don't know. Look at that color scheme. Definitely Trixie. All right, this one, I have completely forgot about this one. But you see the numbers and stuff on here, right? Just look, FL. It's It doesn't have the U. But it's got TT. R S H Y. What is that? Fluttershy. You're gosh dang right. <laughs> Who would have guessed that? Oh, this is. I forgot to mention this little guy. Ooh. Nuclear Tech Commemorative Bobblehead VT6 24 has contributed Balefire Warhead model and general texture work. Oh, God. Every day we stray farther from God. I swear. All right. Anyway, moving on here. Wow. That was a lot to take in at one time. Next, we have this, which is not a, exactly a reference to, uh, you know, My Little Pony and, you know, all that stuff, but there is a fan fiction. I made this in a previous video. Um, writing on the wall, that's what it's called. Yeah, basically, it has this whole entire uh, description, and that's that, which is almost a direct word for word quote from the uh, writing on the wall, wall fan fiction. But this whole entire place is literally a reference. All right. Oh, yes. I forgot about the Balefire, too. Uh, this generic Balefire device. I don't know what the dates are for it. I don't know if that's even a date. <laughs> Regardless, I don't know why there's also another one of those over there. All right. Next, we have the tr uh, Trotty's Toy Rocket. Also a reference to uh, Fallout Equestria. And it's got a freaking uh, flag of Equestria, I think. I remember correctly, which I am not good at remembering stuff, so do not quote me. We have Auntie Blackjack here, the little pip uh, boxcar thing again. <laughs> it's truly splendid. I do like the green eyes, though. Look at that. That's that is great. I mean, I'm a personal big fan of green, so I mean, that makes a lot of sense. So yeah, that's Auntie Blackjack. And last but not least is going to be the... Uh, High Tower Missile, I think. High Tower Missile, yes, I remembered correctly. Which has a Half-Life logo, but it also has the uh, PIP-31, which is the uh, number of Lil Pip's vault suit. So there's that. All right, next to the next is to the big stuff here. This video is already taking longer than I thought it would be, regardless. Next, we have our Soyuz FG. This is our Luna Space 
Center variant. This is the unrusted ver version, pre-war version. Obviously, we have Luna. Look at that. Beautiful. Love the Moon Princess. By far, my favorite skin out of all the F like the uh, Soyuz rockets. Okay. We're going to launch this into space. And then we have our uh, post-war version, which is a lot more rusted, as you can see. All right. We're launching this one up into space, too. Oh, that is beautiful. I should have launched them at the same time. That's my fault. All right. We should give you an achievement for this one, which is called a pod. Uh, I think I'm over. I'm looking into this a little too much. I might be overthinking things here. There we go. Send the lad to the moon. That's the Fallout Equestria reference. That's great. Send Tom home. Yes. Wait, no, that's not good, is that? Look at that. That is great. Oh, crap. Here it comes. Here it comes. We have touchdown. What the heck? Oh, it's gone. That's a wrap. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you guys haven't already, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.